This is Damon Dash, and this is the Dash Diabetes Network. I might not be a doctor, but I'm definitely in a doctor's state of mind. If Let someone it... was to say, yep. come to you and say, I'm a type 1 diabetic. Right. And I'm choosing to go this natural whole, mm -hmm. holopathic right. route and not take any insulin anymore. Right. Well, what, what would I say? What would your advice I would say, uh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he, would have to, he would have to say, I agree with him. Yeah, would I would say, say certainly that. don't Based take his science, he has to say the that. basal insulin. The basal insulin, I would say you have to stay on the basal insulin. He has to say that. And then... Uh, um, he has to say it. That would damn be right. Because what would happen... Is it, is it because it's right. the truth? Or? If you stopped your insulin right now, okay, completely, the basal and the freezer, you would go into a condition called diabetic ketoacidosis. You'd be in the hospital in a couple days. Not if you're drinking root juice. This is, nobody's playing. You've got somebody on the fence here. They're going with him. That's fine. I never argued with that. I didn't yeah. say you did. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you, what do you, now you got a person, a fairy tale person who's doing both. I'm saying that doesn't matter. There's happen. a formula based on your quality of living that you don't have to take these basils or these things based on what he's saying, correct? That's not it. Yeah. Why you keep asking him? I'm asking you. Now let's finish with your diet. Well, you you're back with me. Yeah. Okay. No, and this the, is not me all day. Okay, what yeah, I'm, what yeah. I'm, what I'm yeah. trying to <laughs> okay. But you keep right. talking about it, keep pulling up the machine. I, and I, I got to go on the record. Don't talk about me, though. But I'm you keep right. talking about you. But I go. I got to go on the record. I would not tell a type 1 diabetic agree with him. to stop. Do to not stop tell him. I agree with him in his field. What do you mean, like, if you're in the hospital or but Whatever, okay. whatever. Okay, so now let me ask you, if somebody comes to your field okay. and they say, I'm going to live this lifestyle that you're telling me to live, and do the things that you're telling me to do, and would you give them the advice to stop taking their insulin? No, it's against the law. I would not say that, ever. But you could wean down. You know what I mean. Though. Oh, I know what you mean. I'm telling you, I would not tell a person okay, so that. If it came to me privately, I wouldn't tell them would that. You, all right, but if they told you they were doing it, would you tell them that was a bad or good idea? I would say they have to check their sugar level, check their insulin level no. while they're doing this. The same thing he's saying. You can <laughs> attempt to do this, but you do it cautiously, and yeah. you wean down. Right? You're being monitored. You'd know. You would know. That's the thing. I would never tell anybody to cold turkey, stop their insulin, Correct. and here's a diet. So they was Not a type 1. So, one you know, one thing I, I want to comment on is that, you know, we've been focusing here on the type 1 diabetic, and my goodness, you got something. When I said there's, because yeah. I'm a type, 30, I know. Yeah, but I'm being selfish right now. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the thing is that we can talk about. But this is an later. opportunity. I have to, to message it's those not type the only twos. opportunity. Yeah. We have time. <laughs> okay. yes, so because this I is where I think the listen, lifestyle yeah. change would yeah. be a monster. Before yeah. I get to one question, yeah. I need the answer to another. Yeah. So yeah. I just kind of like that's the pressing issue in my life. Yeah. Is that I'm always hearing someone say that yeah. there's a way that you can you know modify your lifestyle and not have to. Um, take insulin. You're telling me as a doctor it can't happen. You're saying it could, mm -hmm. but you wouldn't officially say that. But you know, I could dig it. I guess okay. again, we're all entitled to our own perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't say it was right. I didn't say it was wrong. I think what people heard, they can judge and do what they think they feel fit. Um, I didn't get too many direct answers, but I got a, a vague understanding of what you're saying. I know I, I've been diabetic since I'm since I'm 15 years old and you know I'm still here. And I've relatively been able to be very human and not be perfect mm -hmm. and still exist. So in order to live a, a normal life, you have to figure out how to adjust so that you can do the things you wanna do but still exist healthy. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just me. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I think it's important um, that open discussion happens, open dialogue for different perspectives, especially as it relates to health. I think everything that was said was impactful. I think you can listen. I think you can judge it for yourself and apply it the way you want to. I know what I'm going to do. They know what they're going to do. And at the end of the day, we're all full grown and we have the opportunity to make decisions and do what we think is right for us. So with that said, um, you know, I thought we had a great time and uh, it was informative. Health as well. If you want to learn more about being a diabetic and being cool while you're diabetic and the lifestyle of a diabetic, check out the Dash Diabetes Network. Holla back. I'm amazed. I didn't know anything like this existed. I like it. I like this idea. We showed people with diabetes something they'd never seen before. Inhaled insulin. It's inhaled. Now I would consider this. <laughs> I could inhale it. And you said you inhaled it? It's neat. It's, it's really neat. I like the design. It's 
very fascinating. I, I don't know. I don't have the right words for this. I'm going to talk to my doctor. I'm going to find out if this is something that's for me. And if it is, we're going to make some changes. Insulin you inhale. Ask your doctor if Afreza is right for you. Go to afreza.com to learn more.